Wade McCluskey was born in Buffalo, New York, June of 1902, my hometown, Buffalo, New York. At the Battle in the Pacific, the Americans saw the same kind of providence of God that they had seen in the past in World War II. Our U.S. Navy, though, was really beat up in the Pacific in 1941 by a surprise attack by the Japanese. You probably know that it's called Pearl Harbor. That spring we were still beat up and we only had two aircraft carriers. And in the midst of this, we had a small force of about 35 ships up against a force of 83 ships that the Japanese fleet had. We knew they were out there in the Pacific and they, we knew they were coming after us at Midway. On June 2nd, 1942, we found out who exactly they were and what they were up to. The Japanese began to attack Midway that morning and the battle had begun. The Japanese Navy was far superior. The Japanese planes were far superior and the pilots were well trained. The Americans, we had a small band of ships and it seemed like an impossible situation. If we lose, we lose Hawaii. If we lose, who knows what the future would be in the Pacific. That day as the battle began, the Japanese sighted us and they figured out exactly who we were. And we sighted them. We went after them, but all of our planes were shot down. They were able to shoot down everything we could send. 8.30 that morning, the Admiral Nagumo made a major decision. He decided to change out his bombs. He spent two critical hours changing his bombs and torpedoes to match up. See, he wanted his land-based firepower he wanted to make sure that there were enough torpedoes to take out these aircraft carriers. He had his men rest and eat lunch on the deck as they changed out their ammunition. But these two hours of delay were critical and it was a major mistake. At that same time, Wade McCluskey and his squadron of 29 dive bombers were desperately searching the ocean for the Japanese. And they couldn't find the Japanese fleet. They were running out of gas, so they could go left or go right. Going left, they would go back for gas. Going right would take them to their death in the Pacific Ocean. The other group of planes he was with had turned left, and they went back for gas, understandably. But Wade McCluskey turned right. And just a few minutes later, he saw a Japanese destroyer turning northeast at a sharp turn. He decided that this must mean that they were going back to their fleet. He followed that destroyer behind the clouds. And 20 minutes later, he came across 83 ships of the Japanese Navy. God parted the clouds below him so he could see. And there were four large aircraft carriers. Well, McCluskey radioed back and 29 dive bombers now had taken out two of the major carriers and they sent word for the destruction of the other two. They were able to send the Japanese Navy back into hiding for two years. It changed the course of the Pacific War. It changed the course of World War II. Not just because of his great bravery, although we can never forget the bravery of Wade McCluskey, but because of the divine providence of God. Who controls those clouds parting below Wade? Who controls the Japanese carrier when it turns to the right direction? That's God Almighty. One of the three men that survived the attack on those Japanese carriers 
Wade McCluskey came back with 51 bullets in his plane. He came back and landed. And he spent the rest of his life telling the story of the miracle of Midway. You see, folks, Almighty God himself controls the battles. He controls the weather. He controls the clouds. He controls the future. And he will take out his enemies whenever he chooses. Nothing can stop him. He's a graceful God and he does not destroy all of us because he has a plan for us if we will only turn back to him. Praise God for his unending grace.